Hey there everyone, this is uh, Cal playing Super Mario World Canadian Xylophone. And the last time we, you know, started World 2, and we're still in starting World 2. World 2, I don't know, like some people are like, wow, this sure is still like tutorial land. I think these levels are fine, pretty fun, honestly. This part looks pretty scary. There's a giant moon somewhere. That's, I mean, the moon is pretty big. How much bigger do you want it to get? Magma Rock Galaxy, playing Super Mario Galaxy, featuring Trollo, Kloppy, I don't know, like, there's there's so many ways. Oh jeez, this is a harsh beginning. <laughs> also, this reminds me of that one contest level, just because, like, the, the lands followed by the music and whatnot. Anyways, yes. Hey there, Anza, okay, how we are in the Hell Zone. Plutocrat Galaxy, where lava's just kind of chilling. See, I use the word chilling to refer to lava. That's a humor joke. Uh, we can ride something. Okay, we can ride the lava. Sure. Well, you know, it was necessary. Someone attached chains to this lava so that it can be used to transport boats. Like the Panama Channel. Is, this, is that how it's pronounced? Channel? I, I have no idea. And he, every time I ask Lark, he's say, well, <laughs> if you don't know, why would I be the one to tell you? It would take too long to explain. Blarg, you know what? I think he looks kind of nice sometimes, but secretly he's kind of a jerk. The music's from... not Spongebob. Super Meat Boy! That's where I recognize it. And yeah, okay, it makes sense. Yo, I got a mushroom, but it's okay, because I got a fake mushroom. Now it's the cave place. I kind of like these little like tunnel area. All right, so you're safe down here and here. You're safe nowhere, so just sprint. It's a lot smarter than doing whatever else you might want to be doing. It's boss time, Mr. Boom Boom. How you feel about that? Just, you know, chillaxing on your floor of skulls. Human- no, and they're too big to be human skulls. Something I'm pretty sure I've noticed before. That's gonna erupt. Oh no! Gotta get the coins! Maybe? Normally coins indicate, yeah, where it's safe, because otherwise you're gonna get smush. You're gonna get a bath in molten rocks. Uh, hey there, little tiny fireballs. Just kind of dotting the skyline. No planes are gonna fly inside this crater nearby soon. Hey, saw. Uh, you're waiting a long time there, just kinda jonesing for some company. <laughs> Stuck behind your little rock there. It's pretty adorable. I would make you meet my pet dog for company, except I don't have one of those. Uh, uh, we can always pretend. Pretend friends are fun, right? Oh shoot, okay. Oh, that's neat! That is neat. <laughs> the sky curtains hang from the sky! The end, the gold curtain. It has many names, none of them official. I like this level a lot. Like, some peeps, I don't know. I think some peeps are like, man, long torn one up. This level was super cool. It was super neat. It was super great. I, I like, oh wait, already nearing the end. Nighttime Wood by Neutralization. Man, okay, this went fast. Just, like, confirming here, yeah. Unless there's a, the level's, like, hiding in some way would be silly. Nighttime wood, my neutralization. Two exits, two reasons to die. <laughs> what? Well, alright, after the volcano, we're now in this- Oh, there's a dead thing in the bottom there. It makes me sad a little bit. Alright, so what am I looking at here? You're supposed to use a mushroom to go and get that thing. Yeah, or maybe if you use Luigi, but who would do that? I don't understand what kind of monster would do such a thing. Ooh, this is where you go if you want to go inside the tree. Well, it turns out, yeah, I want to get inside that tree. I want to get some of that tree action. And still some of this do end up in Norway. But is that something that you want? I'd rather explore Denmark, I hear you say. Also, yeah, you can throw fireballs upwards. I did kind of forget that. <laughs> it's been a while. Like, it's been a while. When when I say it's been a while, there has been a certain amount of time. Ooh, now we're so high up in the canopy, there's still some leaves left for me. And grassy plains. That is some really high elevation, I have to say. Oh boy, coins. I'm gonna take one. 
Like, the rest is for other people who might end up up here for some reason by accident. You always have to keep those people in mind. Because once the end of the world arrives, they're gonna be the one running the barbecue. Okay, so I'm just kind of like a ways off here. That's cool. Flowers everywhere. All of them saying hello. That guy. Well, we don't care much about him. What? Suddenly, there's there's a boat segment. I can make that block to start the engine. All right, starting the engine. Uh, there are no safety rails here. I'm feeling like you know a little uh, not exactly the most safest gazoo. If, if you put down uh, what I'm slaying up. Like, I'm happy that I got fireballs, because not only is this really unsafe, but the local wildlife looks to be fairly dangerous. I would not suggest this ferry ride to my friends. Please don't take this personally. But now I get to go down another tree. Oh man, it's a tree! That guy is Sanders, and it's hooray! Don't know where I'm at at this point. <laughs> I'm getting lost. In the woods of woods, while this guy just slings a fireball. Well, good for him, you know? It's good to engage in, in, in sports. Engage. <laughs> Today is all J. G oh no, wow, whoa, 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 whoa! It's the first boss from Mario Land 1. There, have a block. <laughs> that took me by surprise, my friend. Okay, there's a little. When am I gonna get more blocks that I can throw? There it is! Hey, block! What? Oh, wow, what? Really? It stops you? But only sometimes. Confusing. Oh, but the block deactivated! Can I still throw? You're kinda complicated hard, actually. Uh, ah, there we go. What? Okay. <laughs> I will! Don't mind me. I always take all the stars. That's me, Mario the Illuminator. Uh, for the second exit, though, it looks like maybe you just don't go in a tree and you go in a completely different area space. Because if that's the case, that's pretty nice. It's pretty obvious. Alright, let's see if I can use Mr. Goobaloo. Not really. <laughs> like, maybe if I had placed myself better, uh, it wouldn't have been a problem. But the thing is, I did not space myself better, and I am reciting Hamlet from, uh, you know, memory. Problem is, I never read the play, so, uh, don't worry if none of this sounds like Hamlet. It's kind of normal. So I guess we go in another tree? I don't want to go in a tree, there's a passage up there, speaking to me. Yeah, this is another tree adventure. Confusing and causing violence. Or is this just gonna lead to the same place? I mean, it shouldn't. Like, it shouldn't be physically possible, but it's just that this, you know, this is fresh in my memory. But it's close, but not quite. It's another kind of tree rising. Oh, shoot. So there is something maybe up there if you bring yourself a trampoline. Luckily, that's something that's fairly easy to do. <laughs> Alright, so just put it up here. Don't press it up. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, there it is. Wait. So do I need to bring another trampoline? Alright, I can do that. I can do that. There's like an infinite amount of them. Well, maybe not a in literal infinite, but a fair amount. Okay, so I'm going to need to... So, because, yeah, it's, as I thought, they kind of like respawn in the place. There we go. But if I do this calmly and with fortitude and aggress, uh, I should be fine. Just bring this little guy up here. Ugh, then panic a little bit, but not too much. Just enough. Like with all things cuisine, it's all about the just enoughness of everything. There you go! 100,000%. Oh, okay. And it leads to a little alternate area, too. So, I mean, the differenceness is still not over. No, but I think it, like, it matches back here. 
Remember when I brought out this pipe there up there? Yeah. All right, well that's neat. I don't, yeah, since there's the boat voyage and here's where I jump in a hole. Because I don't want to refight the boss. He was very challenging. He bopped me on the nose. I didn't appreciate it. So let's go ahead then, in that case, and seek out World 3. Let's give World 3 a start. So I don't have 30 stars yet. It's World 5. This is not the same, is it in here? Four and seven, remember them, they're in this weird... There you go, world three, it's the third world. Ooh, the third world is non-linear. Let's see, there are four of them, there, there's another one, at the end, and there's a door. What's up here? Is there a secret world? Yeah, like in Mario 64. Uh, maybe it's not the middle one? I'm pressing out in front of all of these. Oh ho! Is, is there one of these for every world and I just miss the ones for world 1 and 2? Flight simulator. Because now you got me curious. Like, if there's one in each, I have not completed anything. Have you always wanted to know how it is to fly a real airplane? No, you can't. Why the simulator might cause nausea, heading, and even death? <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm gonna eat this mushroom here. And I'm gonna steal your ground money. Doesn't feel good, but this guy had fun. So these are the two... <laughs> oh no! It's that kind of flight simulator. I am currently in the clown car, except it's a tiny plane! Rinka shooters are going away fastly now. Oh boy, uh, yeah. That kind of reaction is the reaction kind I'm well known of. However, the sprite is clearly made with you being small in mine. It looks a little doofy when you're big. Alright, so I guess since it's a flight simulator, I want to stay up high. Which is why I'm going to fly right inside this cave system instead. This is not a safe idea, Mr. Mario. I know you've had many jobs in the past. But I don't know if one of them <laughs> was... Uh... Evil Knievel. Oh, I don't think he wouldn't fly in the middle of the sun, but uh, maybe he would. Exclamado. Oh, shoot! That's... I misinterpreted the exclamado. I thought it was danger's gonna be where the exclamation is at. Turns out that wasn't the case. Pedal Pilot Mario. That's what they call him. <laughs> Man, those hammers go real, real far on in this direction due to the physics of auto scroll Details. Oh, what? I mean, it's realistic, but still. Sprite, let me tell you. <laughs> Alright, okay. So now everything's gonna kill me in one shot. Not only that, but it's gonna take up speed. Like, part of me is like, okay, maybe that means I should, like, back up a little. That would probably be a good idea. Honestly. Because now it gives me time to, like, react to things. It's pretty cool. Reacting to things... Uh, a very oh, unceremonious ability, but really appreciable when you're in these kinds of conditions. Uh, this is kind of a scary, like a little Rinka cave action here. Uh, pretty scary cave action, honestly. I wasn't aware that the pilot driving airplane simulator was a horror one. Well, there's a big castle. I think he wants me to go in. There you go. Hey, it's the princess! How's it going? Thanks for rescuing me! But that is another castle! Well, nuts to you, princess! I stole the star right from behind your head. Your eyeballs are being covered by your long golden locks, and there's nothing you can do about it. This little call about flight simulator and shows a toad tending his garden. Good times. So, yeah. Do other worlds have these? Have I missed two secret, like, casino zone areas? Because if so, man, I don't know. Oh, and there's a 
Oh, okay, and there's a secret door thingy within this- within the, I don't know, man! Is it just a sign of things opening up? What's going on? What colors are sheep normally? 